thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Before we get into today's session, I just want to take a moment and thank our awesome sponsor for this video, which is Blinkist. Now, if you haven't given Blinkist a shot yet, I can't recommend it enough. It is my absolute favorite app for widening, expanding my knowledge on a great variety of different topics and areas. For your business, your career, for your personal life, parenting, there are therapeutic, psychological topics as well. Really, you can find anything in Blinkist because it has over 5,000 titles in 27 different categories condensed into just 15 minutes. So it's really easy to work through, uh, I don't know, three, four of these in the morning or whenever you choose. Personally, I really like to use them in the morning, but there's other times as well. Blinkist is now working with podcast creators as well to produce shortcuts, which kind of get you to the meat and potatoes of the podcast more quickly. Such an easy way to access incredibly valuable knowledge and expand your ideas on just a great variety of things. Of course, you can read or listen to them podcast style, which is my preference, and you do have the ability to download these titles for offline access. The last three books that I listened to, or the last three blinks that I listened to, were Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, I listened to How to Connect with Loneliness <laughs> by James Alter Show, the James Alter Show, excuse me, it was an episode, and Missing Each Other by Edward Brod Brodkin and Ashley Paulathra. <laughs> I suck at pronouncing names, so please forgive me, Edward and Ashley. Right now, Blinkist has a very special um, offer here for our audience. Click the link below in my video description, sign up, and start your free 7-day free trial with Blinkist. And if you decide to go through with the premium membership, which I highly recommend, you'll get so much use out of it, you'll be getting 25% off the premium subscription, the premium membership. Thank you so very much to Blinkist, not only for sponsoring this video, but for helping me to expand my mind every single day. And thank you very much to my viewers, subscribers. I could not do this without you, and I appreciate you so very much. And now let's get into our session. Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Moon and eight. And what I'm creating for you today is a, in addition to the chakra balancing series I've been working on for some time. And here we're addressing the correspondence of an under energized sacral. So, how you might identify this, whether it's something you've experienced or something you're presently experiencing, this could serve you if you're open to it. But how a under energized sacral manifests is typically like a numbness, like a shutting off of connecting with our emotions, a shutting off of connecting with other people in our interpersonal interpersonal relationships, particularly our close relationships or relationships with people we feel an emotional attachment to or an emotional connection with. Also, this can be a bit of a um, blockage when it comes to creativity, like feeling very uninspired, feeling very laggy, low, um, feeling not creative, essentially. So those are the main themes that we'll be addressing today. And this numbness that sometimes occurs can certainly be a benefit at times, you know, like a shutting down because we're overstimulated, a method of self-preservation, self-protection. But when it becomes more of a theme like difficult to then get back to connecting or difficult to get back to feeling, to empathizing, to, you know, that part of life and existence, joy, happiness, you know, it's not just the negative or uncomfortable that we're disconnecting from. It's also 
the, the fun stuff, you know? So, that's what we're gonna be working on, okay? We're gonna start, as we always do, with a candle. Greatest good and perfect comfort. Perfect alignment. Our intention is to support your connection to your emotions, to your feelings, so you can really experience the richness of life. You know, can we put it that way? So you can experience the depth in your relationships, the vulnerability, the laughter, the sharing, the learning about yourself as you, you know, witness yourself reflected back in your close relationships, learn about your emotional um, feedback as well as you connect with others, your loved ones, your friends, your family or anyone that kind of sparks something in you. This can even be like characters or artists or, you know, people who we don't really know in real life. But there's something very important, right, about our connections and how we see ourselves and learn about ourselves through those connections, how they allow us to experience more also want to address any creative blockages or I almost like a fire almost burning out in that creative center. I'm gonna re-energize, recharge, and get that creative energy flowing. Okay. And a lot of times, well, I mean who's to say, right? But creativity and emotions are so connected, you know, we feel good when we're being creative, we feel inspired, we feel like we have an emotion we want to express and it's going to come out on the paper or in the writing or in how we carry ourselves or whatever we're creating here, you know? So, I'm going to really energize and charge all of this yummy correspondence of the sequel here, okay? And of course, excuse me, I'm so sorry. If you have your own intention that you would like to set, please just have a look at this candle, this light, this glow, and send in your intention all directions. Put it in. Checking it in. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. going to begin with a opportunity to start extracting, clearing, creating these um, bridges, these lines, these pathways for any blocked or trapped, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the opposite of vital force, like a sort of... Um, stagnant force that may be sort of preventing that flow or connecting to that feeling 
almost like, you know, if you can picture the sacral correspondence as this beautiful glowing fire in the middle of the earth or something like that. And we've created ourselves these like hard metallic or just really, really, really thick rock layers around. So it's become sort of impenetrable and protected, but also it's not getting, nothing can get in, nothing can get out. So it's kind of closed off. No oxygen is getting there. The fire's kind of dwindling, you know? So if you can look at this cool stone, this, um, it's almost like rutilated tourmaline quartz, something like that. It would be probably a name for it. Are these beams of tourmaline moving through? And that's almost like what we want to picture. Just kind of reaching in, creating these pathways, creating these lines, so that we can sort of drill in. We're not trying to break down any boundary that you have for yourself if it's serving you. But we want you to be able to access this. And from there you'll build in your strength, your connection, your empowerment. Oh, and divine and timing and alignment. Alright, so we're gonna comb through, focusing like deep through to the sacral area, reaching in line by line helping to clear any, like, forgive the word, like, negativity or blockage or fear or numbness that has been layered and layered to kind of, you know, prevent you from connecting with this highly creative, very rich source of your being. And it's not that it would ever go away. And it's not that it would ever burn out. But, you know, that's just the best analogy. Just creating room for movement. That's really all we're doing here. Room for movement. Room for flow. Room for release. Okay. I'm gonna move through. Setting that intention to connect, directing to your creativity, directing to your emotional compass, your emotional center. Your point of like laughter. Just reaching in, 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 in. focusing down there to the lower abdominal area. So gentle. It's just for you. Okay? It's just for you to connect. Right? Now that we have these points of access for yourself. We're going to around you this space of like being held forgive the word, I know some people are kind of thrown off by this, but almost like a womb or also like a like a bed, like a cradle like being held or just like a safe warm bubble you know, if that feels better for you I'm gonna use this super yummy western red cedar
remind you that this is a safe space. I am always just honoring your free will, never forcing anything, just directing to you some support. Channeling through. And just would love for you to support the vision of being in this cozy, safe, held, very much loved, unconditionally loved space. We don't have to judge our emotions. We don't have to judge how we feel. We certainly don't have to be afraid of it either. But we're just gonna send in and channel Just filling the space around you with this very sweet, almost motherly, like Cozy, so warm, so gentle, and so supported. Okay, and I'm just gonna channel through and remind you how strong you are, how powerful, how capable. And if you've in any way become disconnected because you've just, you're just done, you know, like that feeling, like. I'm done. I don't want to feel anymore. I'm done. I'm not going to I'm not going to connect like that anymore. I've been hurt too much or it's been used against me or it's too intense. That's okay, you know. We want to support your personal boundaries. So we're just going to focus on that, just supporting your personal boundaries, reminding you you don't have to overdo it, you know. We're getting to a place of temperance here. Not overwhelm. Moving through. All around. Okay. And now we're gonna go in and do some sort of like, not cord cutting, but just blockage cutting. Almost like a root ball or an overgrown nest or bush or something like that. And we're just going to trim away a little bit just so you can get that air, that circulation, that little bit for you to respond to. And then you kind of take it from there on your own. Start writing something silly, something that makes you laugh. A little like eggs and bacon smiley face. <laughs> or a cat wearing like cowboy boots, smoking a cigar. Taking it all away, not taking it all away. You still have your boundaries. You still have the structure. Just lightening it a little. And just 
reminder, right? Not like you need it, but life is about the ups and downs. Being neutral is definitely a skill to acquire, but it's not worth cutting ourselves off from the joy or the pain because it's all part of being alive, right? them, you know?
keep the fire some primordial matter, you know, activation of the fire that burns in you, the creative fire, the force of creation. And, you know, I never want to push my beliefs on you, but in my humble opinion, I really believe we're here to create, to experience the creations around us, to have just experiences in general, to be inspired and to create new things to experience and create things that others will experience as well. And that can be really tricky to connect with when we're feeling incredibly depressed. So I don't want to necessarily like exclusively tie a under-energized sacral to depression, but it can come in, you know, that numbness, like, I don't want to feel, I don't want to create, I don't want to be here anymore, like, that kind of stuff. So I totally, you know, want to validate that if there's any of you experiencing that, or if you've experienced that before. But, and you know, there's not much, there's, there's, that's, our, our journeys are unique, and they're our own, right? So I'm not going to tell you how to fix something, or, you know, it's not, it's not like that, is what I'm trying to say. But more so, a just like shoulder to shoulder kind of like empathy of knowing that I've felt that way before too and it's okay to be in that space as long as you know somehow or because you've been there before that it's just a phase or it's just an experience or it's just a like floating down to touch the bottom of the ocean to disconnect to feel that complete disconnection, that complete sort of cut off, but knowing of course that you kick your feet or you take a breath or you focus on lifting and you will, you know, and I know it's not that easy all the time, right, but just to kind of share and empathize here for anyone who's kind of going through that really um, intense side of this because it's not always super intense, right? So I'm just going to focus on channeling through, connecting with my own experiences of complete numbness to moving back to appreciation and connection and excitement and like joy, you know, through this. So I'm just trying to connect with my own key that I know that I hold, just like many of you hold this and many other keys to channel through, sending in into the third eye to travel through moving, dragging, quieting down and again sending in laughter inspiration and the element here that we go through these times and we come out with some kind of key or knowledge or understanding or empathy that we can share with others so we can kind of light the way for others or support with true authenticity oceanic looking like a little tide pool and I'd love for you to see yourself there in a tide pool in a safe space warm waves gently pulling in and out but still held in that pool 
was like a little kiddie pool, you know, like nature's kiddie pool. And this is, again, just a perfect space for you to reconnect with your sensitivities, with your instincts, with your inner guidance here. through and around. Okay. These sweet lights are just going to shine them through, supporting your own light, your own creativity, your joys. fun, making things fun, figuring out how to make all things fun, make games. And I heard once, might have been in like Midnight Gospel, is that the one? Yeah, Midnight Gospel. The Duncan Trussell cartoon is what I mean by that. Or maybe just the podcast or something, but there are certain belief systems like spiritual belief systems that kind of laugh at us when we take things too seriously because it's all just temporary, right? It's all just a game in a way or it's all something that we can make light and don't get me wrong your soul is nothing for us to laugh at, right? or your mission Charging all around you, shining this light through and through and through and through and through, all around, connecting with this creative force within you, turning the pots, getting some air into the fire. I'd love for you to remember. sad movie, you know? Your favorite sad, happy part of a movie. I know my son always watches the end of Big Hero 6 over and over again and cries <laughs> and says how happy it makes him and it's his favorite part. And there's something so pure and beautiful about that. So what's your favorite movie <laughs> that makes you so happy you cry or just such big emotions. Let it out. Let it purge. Let it move. Let it lighten. Let it lift. Let it flow. And let it come back online, man. Bring it back. Let it lift you. Let it be effervescent. Let it move and light the way for others. Let it inspire. Let it be contagious the way laughter is. And let it support you in how you connect with those that you love or those that you spend your time with or connect with. Or crying with a friend or a big belly laugh. around you. We're just gonna go go through. Just support that movement. To 
support you in feeling gently, I don't want to say organized, but just nicely tempered, harmonious. A little smoke offering juniper. Visualize your creative fire, your emotions, your vitality. Moving all through you. Every which way. Because you're limitless. Remember you're protected, remember you're in control, but loosen up, sweetie pie. Get it out, laugh it out. Your homework is to watch one movie that will make you cry, <laughs> and one that will make you laugh like freaking crazy. I just want the film. so much just like hugs and warmth and cheerleading energy for you I just want you to know how I just hold you in a space always of your divinity of your empowerment of your perfection of just you being perfectly you exactly how you are empowered aligned and just living your living your freaking life you know so very much love to you from the very bottom of my heart I bow to the divine in you and I into this interesting and beautiful and highly creative, <laughs> highly imaginative, right, connection that we share. Alright, so very much love to you, sweetie pie, and I'll talk to you soon. Alright, much love and namaste. Thank you.